Hi guys, welcome back to another studio vlog. I think this is studio vlog 10. Happy 10th studio vlog day. It is a Saturday today and it's 11 o'clock and already my weekend is not going great. So I was actually away Thursday night for a nice little trip for my friend's 30th birthday, which was really lovely. Um, and then on my way home, my clutch broke on my car. So I left to go home at about five o'clock yesterday and I didn't get home until one o'clock in the morning. So that basically ruined all my plans for the work that I was planning to do last night. And I'm pretty tired today as well. And I've also got to figure out when I'm gonna get the car and the garage to fix because the clutch pedal broke and kind of need that. So that's just um, gonna cost me some money that I didn't really have to spend, but oh well, these things happen. Although it's not got off to a great start, I'm gonna turn it around and we're gonna have a good weekend. Now I have a lot to do this weekend. So I've got a video that I need to film for Creative Peak. So I've started doing a bit of content creation for them when they launch new products, which is really cool really enjoying that what else do i need to do i've got i've got the yay makers unboxing video which i filmed the other day i need to edit that so that can go up tomorrow i don't think that would take me too long to edit though and i need to finish designing my wrapping paper and gift tags which i'm launching this week and also this week i am launching my lettering kits so they're going to be physical lettering kits that with a physical workbook and my battery is about to die so let me just sort that out. And I'm back. Yeah, so I'm doing some physical lettering kits that you will get in the post, which is super exciting. So there's going to be two different ones. There's going to be a brush lettering one, and you'll get a couple of brush pens and a workbook. The workbook is going to have a slightly different style to my Better Brush Letters challenge that I run. So people who have done that can still get their hands on this workbook and learn something new. And there'll be a faux calligraphy one too, with some bullet tip pens and other little tools like that that will show you that you don't need a fancy pen to create beautiful writing and it's a really good first step for people who want to get into calligraphy and lettering or even children as well and both kits are also going to include a couple of greetings cards some will be christmas themed some will be more general like birthday themed which i'm really excited about and i need to launch them this week basically because christmas is creeping up so i need to finish off the workbooks which i have started they are nearly done and then with the workbooks you will also get a video which will take you through helpful tips for both either faux calligraphy or brush lettering and take you through the workbook and the best way to use it so i've got a lot of filming bits to do this weekend and because we're in england now it's raining today so it's lovely gray and miserable and it gets dark really early so that gives me a very small window to be able to do all of those bits. Before we dive in though, I have a very exciting package and this is for my faux calligraphy kits. So let's just open this up. Oh my God, they look so cool. <gasps> okay, so for the faux calligraphy books, books? For the faux calligraphy kits, I wanted to have some pencils in there because pencils are a really great tool for doing faux calligraphy. And see, I might put some of these in the brush calligraphy kit too because you can do like pressure sensitive stuff. I'm gonna do that. But basically, I wanted some pencils and I've got a really lovely bright pink one here, but I wanted one that had blink lettering on and these have blink lettering on. And they look really cool. Look, so it says blink lettering on the end in black foil. And it's a neon pink pencil. And it's got black rubber at the end. And I just... I love it. It looks so cool. So these are going to be going into the boxes. I also need to go to the post office today to pick up lots of pens that I ordered for these boxes too. I'm not 100% sure on numbers yet on how many I'm gonna do of each box initially. There is gonna be a giveaway, which is kind of in partnership with Sakura UK, which is super exciting. Uh, they're providing me with a few goodies for the giveaway and also freebies for the boxes too. So 
that is super exciting. I got these pencils from the Pencil Pot, which you can see there. And Sally was great. She was super helpful. I literally ordered these on like Tuesday, I think, and they arrived. So, I mean, that's great. Look at all of them. I got so many pencils. Oh, that's really satisfying. Look how satisfying that looks. I'm happy. Oh, got a little moustache. So, what am I gonna do first? I need to sort my nails out first because I need them to look pretty for this video and uh, in the stress of breaking down yesterday I made them not so pretty so I need to sort that out first before I do any sort of filming. I need to have breakfast first. I definitely felt my belly just rumble. So I'll catch you guys a bit later on. Wednesday today so I don't think I spoke to you on Monday or Tuesday um, I felt a bit low at the weekend because of the news of the new lockdown which was a bit rubbish had a few things that have been cancelled but obviously I want people to be safe and I want us to be able to have a good Christmas so I'm trying to stay positive um, but because 
of my mood. I wasn't as productive as I hoped to be at the weekend. So I didn't get my calligraphy kits finished, which I wanted to launch today. I am still focusing on them. I am looking to launch them Monday next week now. Um, and I've emailed my subscribers that too. So it kind of has to happen. I'm not away this weekend anymore. So I do have a bit of time, which means I can film the video that is going with the kit. So that's really cool. Oh, by the way, I'm just walking home. I've just walked to the parcel box to drop off some parcels. And it's just really pretty. There was someone walking towards me and I got a bit freaked out. So I stopped filming. So I'm just walking back home. It's like quarter to nine and I start work at nine. I've had quite a few late evenings recently and then getting up really early to do orders. So last night I actually did some Etsy orders after I had some friends leave mine and it meant that this morning I could have a bit of a lion and then a lion for me is like 7.30 by the way and then I just walked to the parcel box and it's actually been really good just to get out it's a beautiful morning and it's just it's made me very happy hi guys I'm back home now I don't want to take this off it's so cozy that was such a lovely walk I definitely need to do that more often before work I do something like that and I'm like that was amazing let's do it all the time and then don't do it again for like weeks but I really want to try and get in the habit of doing that especially on a morning like this where it was just so beautiful I am now sat at my desk because it's like four minutes until I start work exactly four minutes so I gotta crack on with my day as I said the calligraphy kit's gonna go live on Monday so for you guys it's tomorrow if you're watching it the day this video comes out and there's only gonna be a limited number of those so I'm really excited I hope I hope people love them I've been really busy with orders for the past couple of days which is another reason why my calligraphy kit's a little bit delayed like I'm just so appreciative of all the orders I'm getting at the moment so if you have ordered for me recently then thank you so much like I absolutely love making orders and I love the variety of orders that I'm doing at the moment I don't know what I'm doing with my hands just hands yeah it's just it's just great it's it's making me very happy I have a really exciting call with a brand at lunch today so looking forward to seeing what that will entail uh, hopefully it'll be a cool project that I can work on with the brand and I completed the project with Creative Peak as well which I'm really happy with the brand was really happy with and I'm excited for it to go live which I think might be soon it might even be before this video goes up I do have some work to do at lunch blink work I'm gonna do some wrapping paper and gift tag designs which I want to launch tomorrow for the indie essential Christmas market I'm in so I got a lot to do hey guys uh, this week is definitely not going to plan uh, sorry if you can hear banging by the way as well it is thursday the 5th of november so it's fireworks night tonight i am probably not looking great right now i'm not feeling well so i had lots of big plans this week i wanted to launch my wrapping paper gift tags ready for the online market i'm doing tonight um i also wanted to launch my click free books this week but i i not books my kits um i've decided i'm going to launch them on monday which i think i've already told you guys i've still got quite a bit i need to do for them um and i didn't do any of it last night i just wasn't feeling in great mood last night to be honest i think with like lockdown happening again and having to spend quite a lot on fixing my car and a couple of other personal things i just wanted to have an evening curled up on the sofa with the bearded one which is exactly what we did so today i was going to be super productive this evening however i have a dust allergy which sounds like a bit weird and pathetic but especially at this time of year, I get really random days where it just completely flares up. It like puts so much pressure up in my sinuses up here and this all around my face and it's, it makes it so hard to concentrate. I can't even like read or like even lie down. It's just, it's just a really weird feeling. I don't know if this is how people feel when they have like a pollen allergy. I imagine it might be, but I get it at this time of year and I just don't know if I'm going to be able to focus tonight, um, which is frustrating. I'm going to cook a bit of dinner um, and then I think I'm just going to curl up on the sofa with my laptop and see what I can do. But yeah, this, this week is not going to plan and I'm feeling a bit frustrated, but I'm trying not to kick myself too much. This is my bike, by the way. It is 
bloody cold in here so I've been hiding under this blanket all day at work today. Yeah I just wanted to catch you guys up, sorry I haven't really filmed much. Feeling a bit meh this week. I'm hoping the next couple of days will be a lot more productive. Morning guys, I am feeling much more human today. Uh, I went to bed at like 8.30 last night so obviously it did no work but I had a really good sleep and my allergy flare up has gone so I feel like I can breathe, I can think, it's amazing. It is Friday today which means I work from 7 to 3.30 so I can start weekend early. I got up about 6 because I have some cracker orders that I wanted to do all the calligraphy on so when it comes to packing them on my lunch break all the calligraphy is dry. So I've done that now and it is 7 so I'm going to start working for the day. It's the weekend! It is now 3.30 so I have just finished work for the day. I have lots of crackers on the floor behind me and I need to cut out all the ribbon for them. So I am just sitting here in my comfy clothes cutting ribbon out and I've got a bit of Gilmore Girls over there. I'm just going to pack up all orders that I've got in my Etsy shop now, get them to the post office because I've got international orders so I do need to go to the post office. For all of my UK orders I go to the parcel box near me so I don't have to go inside shops or see people but yeah international orders need to go to the post office so I'm going to do that now and then this evening I am going to work on my calligraphy kits and have a Wagamama's obviously delivered but I'm excited. Hi guys it's Saturday today I uh, had quite a wholesome day today so far so I did get up early and do some work on my calligraphy kit and then the bearded one and I went for a really lovely autumnal walk. We were actually meant to be away this weekend uh, for delayed birthday celebrations. My birthday was in March by the way but that's obviously been cancelled so it was really lovely just to go for a walk. I did pop to the post office this morning to drop off a load of orders that I packed up last night. Um, I'm really close to getting to a thousand orders in Etsy and that was my goal for this year. And that's the first time I think I've told anybody that. So hopefully I'll be able to do it. I think I'm on like 9.40. So fingers crossed. <laughs> calligraphy kit and I'm so excited with how it's turned out. I just had a last minute stroke, stroke of genius and used these silver sticker sheets that I've had lying around I think since my wedding so like three years ago 
um, and they just add a nice little extra something to the front of the box. So when I ship these out, I'm going to put the address labels on the back. So if people do want to give it as a gift, they can just peel the address label off. And then inside, I will seal it with a blink lettering sticker. And then I think I'm also going to put a tag on it as well with the person's name who the kit is for. So I need to cut out some tags on my silhouette machine so I can include it in the photography for my Etsy shop, which I am going to do next. So I'm going to cut out some tags and I'm also going to pack my faux calligraphy workbook too into a box so I can see how it all looks and then we can start photographing. I saw you from across the room When I rest met I never knew feel this way and it's kind of strange don't even know your name i don't know you but i want to get to know you just want to get to know you i don't know you but i want to up from the photo shoot and now I need to record the videos that are going alongside the workbook. It's about three o'clock and I think I probably have a couple of hours until it gets dark. I am super happy with how these workbooks have turned out. I'm really excited to edit the photos to go up in my shop tomorrow. I have let my students who take part in my online challenge know that it is going live at 6 30 tomorrow so that's also letting you guys know that it's going live at 6 30 tomorrow uk time i'm hopefully gonna get this studio vlog edited and up tonight so you would have seen a little sneak peek of what is to come for my product launch tomorrow if you're watching on Sunday. If you're watching it at a later date, then I will leave the links in the description below if you want to get your hands on these calligraphy kits. There is a limited number, so I don't know how long they'll be in stock for. If they are super popular, then I'll look at restocking some more too. I'm gonna to say bye now in this vlog. It has been a very busy week. It was not a very good start to a week, for sure. However, the end of the week has been great and I've loved it. I've got a roast to look forward to this evening as well, which I feel is like a nice little well-deserved present. It's definitely hard to try and balance business with full-time job. Something I'm starting to get better at, but there are just some weeks where it just does not work at all. And this week was kind of that week, but I've got there in the end. I'm happy with what I've done. I've also got a few orders that I need to do. I've had like 12 orders in the past 24 hours, which is amazing. Thank you so much if you've placed an order. Uh, it does mean that I need to find some time to do those orders as well at some point. I will catch you guys soon for another video vlog. Thank you so much for watching.